Want to know how to create your very own rotating emote using Photoshop? Let's get into it. Create a new item, make it 112 by 112 pixels, 72 PPI, and have a transparent background. Hit create and you get this. Now holding down Alt and scrolling with your mouse will enlarge the size of the canvas so you can see it a little better. Your screen will probably start off on this tab, so you'll have the layer selected. You're going to grab your image, your PNG file. Mine happens to be th this one. So I'm doing one for AO Esports and one for AO Titans. Now we'll start off with AO Esports. You just drag it across and it's there. Next up, go to 3D. Choose 3D Extrusion and click create. We are now in 3D mode. First thing I always do is I go to the infinite light. And up here where it says shadow, um, I untick the shadow option because I don't really want a shadow underneath my image. Go back to the, the file AO Esports. It might say layer one in yours. Now you can, you can adjust the infinite light so you can see the image a little better. Uh, you just spin it round like so, so that it's shining directly on it. You can remove the infinite light altogether, it's completely up to you. But when you go back to AO Esports, you'll be able to see it. When you're on AO Esports, um, there's a couple of things that you need to do before you go any further. So you want to try the extrusion depth up here. That's how thick the image is going to be. I normally drop it right down to about there. So it's basically the first setting above completely flat. So you've got a little bit of depth on it. You also want to go to the extrusion material. This is where you decide what color you're going to have between the front and the back. I normally go to base color. Now you can choose a color from here or you can go and you can use the eyedropper and you can choose one of the colors from the image itself, which is normally the better thing to do and click OK. That means you're ready now to create the spinning effect. Go to window, timeline, and you'll have this appear. You can create a video timeline or you can create a frame animation. This time we're going to do a video timeline. Click create video timeline and it brings up this. Go across to the left hand side, click the arrow just here. Then go down to 3D meshes and the stopwatch. Click the stopwatch and this is where you're going to add the keyframes to tell the image how to rotate. We're going to do it in 15 frame segments so we have our first keyframe at zero we'll go across 15 and we'll click the keyframe diamond just here do another 15 click the keyframe diamond again then another 15 keyframe diamond and then our final movement takes us up to two there we go so we now have five keyframes to work from go up to the top right where it has the coordinates and click that this is where you're going to change coordinates of each keyframe now we can drag this down so that we know how big our play bar is going to be go right back to the start of this and our first keyframe we leave this all the way it is don't change anything at all just all three zeros on x y and z axis click the arrow button here to go to the next keyframe now on this one we're going to have zero we're going to change the middle one to 90 change to 90 and then hit enter on the keyboard it's important that you hit enter so that the figure actually sticks and then we leave the last one as zero Click the arrow icon again to go to the next. And this keyframe, we change the 90 back to zero. Click enter. 
change the top number to minus 180. Hit enter. The bottom one to minus 180. Hit enter. And we click the arrow icon again to go to our fourth keyframe. This one, we change the minus 180 back to zero. Change the minus 180 on the bottom back to zero. And then we change the middle figure to minus 90. Click the arrow icon to go to our final keyframe. And we change the minus 90 back to zero. We can drag our play bar right down so that it is the actual length of the keyframes. Hit the play button. And that is a rotating emote that looks absolutely brilliant. Now to save it, you go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Make sure that GIF is selected here. Make sure the size is correct, 112 by 112, and click Save. Save it any name that you want. I'll call this one AO Esports underscore one, and save. That now is ready to upload to Twitch. Let me know in the comments how you get on with it.